welcome Pisces. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle reading for the week of November the 4th to the 11th, 2019. Again, I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, and sharing these videos, but most of all, for subscribing to them. When you do subscribe, be sure to click the bell button and you'll get notified immediately when these are produced and out on open air for you to view. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. Every single card may not resonate with every single beautiful fish out there in the sea. If it does, swim away with it and throw the rest out into the ocean. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I welcome and invite you to click the little icon up in the top right hand corner and it will direct you right into my website where you can see the services that I offer. All the other information, my beautiful Pisces, is listed below this video. So again, today we are doing the Celtic Cross. The all over crowning energy is in the middle here, coming in below you, coming in above you, the energy coming in behind you and towards you. You've been given the death card, which is a release card in the Angel Tarot, and this is not a bad card. This is all about the end of a phase or a situation in your life right now. You're moving on, my beautiful, beautiful Pisces, in a new direction, and this is completion and full circle, cycles and karma and taking responsibility for things that are happening in your life right now. Moving on, you've learned from your past, you've completed something, and now you're moving on. Uh, it's time to move on. This release card says it's a perfect time for you to move on. You've left the past behind and you're starting all brand new now. Coming in below you, you've been given the Ten of Earth, beautiful card, the Ten of Pentacles, happy family life, financial security, and finding the little things in life, the magic and the little things in life again. You've worked hard for where you're, you've come to, Pisces. A lot of you have worked hard in your business. Uh, at your place of employment, in your career sector of your life, and now you're seeing the fruits of your labor come in because you've applied yourself. You've moved on in a new direction, and you've, you're doing things to help yourself improve your finances, improve your home life uh, because of your finances. And I do see that, Pisces, this is all coming into play. This is a beautiful card. Again, you know, it, this, is, this is completion, okay? This is full circle. This is coming into play here. Coming in to, uh, coming in above you is the King of Earth. Well, Pisces, this is a Midas touch card. This is a successful time for you right now. This is about you being professional. Perhaps this King is coming in as well. Someone that's been able to guide you and, and, and mentor you. Uh, you know, maybe a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn that's coming in to help assist you with your business and uh, make it successful. And maybe mentoring you and helping you. You're learning from this individual. It's a successful time. You can't, you know, you put your fingers to anything now, Pisces, when you that you manifest and you're turning it all into gold. So I want you to confidently uh, accept any opportunities that are being offered to you because I do see there's going to be opportunities coming in here for you. Pardon me while I have a mouthful of my water again. <coughs> now, you got the best card in the deck here, Pisces. Not only did you get the Midas touch when it came to finances and putting your fingers and making it turn to gold, you got the star. So you are lighting your path. You are the star on your path. You're getting recognition for everything that you're doing. Maybe you're out, <coughs> excuse me, doing what I do. Maybe you're out on the um, out in, in in the universe, you know, uh, interneting. Uh, and, you know, getting out there in the cyber world, promoting yourself and getting recognized for what you do. You're building your clientele. You're building your subscribers. You're building your, your business is what you're doing, Pisces. This is amazing for all of us Pisces out there. This is our year. We have realized that it's now or never. And so we're pushing towards our goals and our happiness and our peace. This is about happy times and making positive, optimistic, long-term plans now because of the work that you've applied to where you're going on your path and know that you're right on target. You are right on your path where you belong, Pisces. This is where you should have been all along. <coughs> Excuse me, but timing and, and you know, the universe and, you know, and, and all the challenges in life get in our way and it wasn't meant to be at that time on our path. So we've worked hard for it. Pisces coming in towards you, you may feel that you have a little bit of a dispute coming up. Make sure, because this has to do with changes. This is all about a choice that you're going to be making. Be sure you're very careful about it. You are creative. Um, I do see that you're going to make the changes to suit yourself. And I do see that there could be some challenges, conflicts, and, um, you know, coming into you. Someone may want something that you want. 
be careful. You may have to make a choice. Learn what you can from this situation and review everyone's motives because you'll win the war, Pisces. But it may you may look back and say, was it really worth it? They, they drop the swords and they walk away. So you know what? Be careful. Pick your battles wisely. Don't allow pettiness to come into any part of the equation now with this energy around you. Walk away from any pettiness. You don't need to dispute and have a debate about every little thing here, Pisces. Let it go. I know, Pisces, you're not confrontational. I know you don't like to have this happen. But just beware. Just beware because, you know, some people want what you have or they're a little bit envious. You will be given offers. You're going to have two options, Pisces. Pick door number one or door number two. But either choice will be amazing. And one is a bit better than the other. And Pisces, I see you're going to be able to do that. Because you've got the Midas touch here with the King of Earth. It's amazing. And beside him is a woman. A woman is offering you a gift. This could be a woman, uh, you know, a female energy that comes in and wants to offer you something. Uh, be, be careful. Dig deep because you need to know all the information. Okay, do some soul searching. Dig very deep. The well goes deep to make sure you want to do this with this woman. But you're going to be, uh, you know, you're very honest yourself, Pisces. And I do see you're going to be coming up against another very strong female uh, energy. And she's, as, she's an open book. She's there. She cares for you. And you can ask her anything, Pisces, and she will give you a straight up answer. There's no sugarcoating here with this woman. Okay. This woman is kinder, more compassionate. Uh, she's, uh, she's sensitive. Okay. This woman here, she's right up there in your face and she'll tell you what you need to hear. Okay, so we're going to cross-reference here with the death card. Moving on in a new direction, uh, the right time to move. You may be, uh, you know, having options and choices here. You've done your homework. You're going to delve deep into something, Pisces, to keep moving towards your goals. The star is here. The Midas touch is here. All this abundance is coming into you in the form of finances. There may be two women here that you may be having to communicate with. Coming in with your all over tea leaf messages you've been given throne you're going to have a power a power of position of authority you're going to be your own boss you're going to be able to step up uh pisces and control every little thing about your life and your business here this is amazing so you are going to be on your own a lot of you will be uh will be uh excuse me while i bend over and pick this card up you will be self-employed your own boss you've been given the tankard and this is celebration go out and have a good time Go out and have a good time, Pisces. And you've been given the ant. Work, achievement, and success. All of these cards have worked out in your favor here when it comes to this reading. So you've moved on a new direction. Uh, you've ended a phase in your life uh, that you had in the past. And now everything's turning up roses pretty much. The mind has touched. The choices that you, and options that you've been given. Your star on your own path here, Pisces. You're lighting up your own path here towards your business, your finances, and you're moving on. These two women you uh, in your life, one could be you and one could be a friend, uh, but I do see one will come in with an offer of true love and friendship. The other one here, she's a mentor. She's there. She's strong. She's, she's there in your end of the ring. She could be someone, too, from the spirit world that steps up and watches over you and says, this is your time. I've got your back. So now with the beautiful card from our beautiful book, the mystical wisdom deck you got legends so let's see what legends has to say here uh, for you this is all about you looking up towards your legends and learn from those who inspire you and i said that with this woman she may be the one that's coming in to inspire you here life constantly is changing uh, and you are learning you have the opportunity to rise to great heights pisces listen learn and gain insights from those whose path you wish to follow Gather information and do some research into your legend. Learn what is best for you right now to follow your dreams. Folk tales describe how the main personality in a legend copes with the events of everyday life. Deep within the tales is a lesson to pass on to you. The story may be of miracles, spiritual courage, or even fairy tales. True legends such as Joan of Arc and Nelson Mandela courageously took on battles to overcome obstacles and per persevere to meet triumph and victory. Your mantra today, Pisces, should be, I gather inspiration, strength, and insight from true legends. So look up to your mentors. That's what I said this woman here might be. Someone coming in to mentor you and help you with the situation. What do you need to surrender to, Pisces? You need to surrender your fear of intimacy. 
you are ready to let love in again. Compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. So some of you Pisces may have been hurt, broken hearted, <clears throat> etc. And now you're going to be able to open your heart to allow love to come into your heart again, Pisces. This is a beautiful card. Pisces are very loving, very intuitive. But, you know, you are the fish and you swim away in a direction very quickly when you've been hurt. And to hurt a fish is pretty much fatal. Uh, you know, the skin is so thin and the wound goes deep. So, Pisces, you've healed through this. Continue your healing for some of you. Know that love is on its way and you need to surrender to the fear of intimacy. Beautiful messages. Well, my beautiful Pisces, this is your reading for the week of November the 4th to the 11th. It looks pretty darn good to me. I, my goodness, you're working towards your goals financially with your business, with your job, with your career. You, you know, you've got these two beautiful women here that are coming into your life to, to give you what you need. You're lighting your own path. You're your own beacon, your own star. Your cups are filling to overflowing. You've been given options and you are moving forward. The Midas touch, my beautiful Pisces. The finances and all the abundance is coming in and you've moved on you've moved on from the past and now you're starting a brand new prosperous abundant new future well my beautiful pisces i wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to and again i leave you with this the universe and the divine your higher power want you to succeed and find your happiness and peace so pisces surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, my beautiful Pisces, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. See you soon, Pisces.